Thank you. Uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank the board and to all of you to award me with this prize. And uh, I also was given a quite a challenging task to talk about education in 21st century. However, uh, this is my disclosure. However, education and its challenges have begun from the start of human mankind. And we know that proper thoughts regarding education were that through education we can achieve justice, both social and individual justice, and by meaning of justice, human virtue. While Hippocrates, which was the father of medicine, there are in fact two actual things, science and opinion. The former begets knowledge, the latter ignorance. So, the world, the play world, has had its own works regarding medical practice, which is considered the art of compassion by a Korean saying. The character that the doctor requires is basic attitudes, values, and means must be present for her or for him to perform their duties, implying knowledge and medical skills, as well as empathy and moral character. But while we did very well regarding the medical skills, we are still not achieving our goals regarding empathy and humanism for all our pupils. Who do we actually educate? We educate ourselves, the parents, the patients, the students, the residents, our own colleagues. We have to actually educate all in a full area of social media, fake news, and also a lot of news that overwhelm us. The 21st century clinician educators should be prone to clinical practice, apply theory to education practice, engage in scholarship, stimulate research, consult and add on education issues, and very recently appeared the idea of being a clinician educator truck. There is a constant and increasing need in training our students to be better teachers than we ourselves are. So, we learn. And we learn every day, but learning occurs best during social interaction of a community of practice. We teach our students and residents every day. We teach ourselves every day. Students and residents take responsibilities by sharing our knowledge, working engagement in day by day tasks. We also try to teach them how to discuss with care parents and caregivers, providing them the best of information. Why do we actually need to educate our students for research? Except that we spend quite a lot of time doing this. We need to educate students and residents in favor of research. Why that? For the increased medical based science evidence, for banks to bedside translational medicine. To engage, we have to engage young students in research and to teach them how to formulate current thoughts from generation of studies, ideas, to implementation and dissemination. And what did we achieve? Long lasting habits of scientific thought, profound disposition to critical thinking, and found success in practicing medicine. While we do educate everybody, we have to educate parents and also to fulfill their own expectations. Parents expect from us to be compassionate, empathic, and knowledgeable. We have also to communicate well with children, to be team workers, to be aware and respect all different types of cultures, to have excellent communication skills. So, here I found some tip tips. Begin education with every encounter, correct misinformation, be a good detective and find out what parents already know. Speak in a layman terms, use images anytime it is possible. One image speaks more than 1,000 words. Stimulate the parent's interest. Always take into consideration the parent's limitations and strengths. Use always parent's resources of the internet. Keep it simple or this way. My own journey started back in 2007 in Brussels, where I live in the center of uh, Romania. And because this is a time in which I have to acknowledge and to send not only the whole aspect, but also all the other aspects, speakers, both from my country and from abroad, 
that since Sam came on a regular basis, on an yearly basis, back home in Russia, Romania, to speak and to educate us all in regard of scientific knowledge about skills. But what comes next? As we all know, next, the future already begins here today. It already started. We see all intelligence in pediatric infectious diseases also. So, the future, will it look as the healthcare technology revolution, what will be next? The AI-assisted doctors, maybe the AI doctors, or I presume we will still continue to talk to each other to discuss and enjoy our wonderful me meetings. Thank you so much. I cannot end my talk without um, thanking to all the ones that supported me for 17 years now, my whole family, my husband and my son, and to you all. Thank you so much.